Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how I do my DIY cages. Um, if you just can have a little stacking bin, stacking pull bins, you can take one of these. It is the minimum, but you know, it's just what it is right now because my fish tank is being completely cleaned. And so what I'm going to do is just fill it with either ripped tissue which you can make bedding or like a mixture of that and bedding or you could just buy bedding or something. I just ripped up tissue and put a little bedding in there. So first I'm going to put a dish. This is um, like must because they need food. This is food from early this morning which is in here. You can also put a little Velcro water bottle. However, my hamster doesn't go in here that often. So I decided I don't need a water bottle because you know, this is just her emergency cage. She's usually she's in there right now. <laughs> she doesn't want to come out of this tube, as you can see. Now I'm gonna put a little fun tube in here. Because I feel, you know, it's fun. Um, you want a lot of activity. I saw this little seesaw I'm gonna put in here. I'm just gonna put a little dish with some sand in it. It is a little messy, but it's like that because of she used it recently. And then um, she likes this little thing. I don't, I don't know. The thing that it was, it broke, so she just likes to like sit on there. And her favorite toy, of course, is this little house. And um, you, she can go under it. She can go over it. I'm just gonna try to do this one handed without falling over. But, so there we go. Here's a little DIY cage. And you can go in there. I'm not gonna show you her. Good she's in here. Um, 